What's up, Sunrays? Welcome back to my channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be just sharing with you some things that I got in um, that I have ordered and technically I don't remember exactly what it is. I, I know it is beauty products that I want to share with you guys. So we're just going to open them together and kind of do an unboxing and see what it is that I purchased. In this first box I purchased from Juvia's Place. They were having a sale um, and I saw it. So I thought, hmm, since I'm trying to get into a little bit more of the beauty and makeup, see what I like, what I don't like, things of that sort, I thought that I would pick up a few items. So the first thing I picked up was the, well, I think I actually got this, actually got this palette free because if you, um, spend so much you get a free palette and I didn't spend a lot so don't get me wrong now don't get me wrong this stuff was on sale but there was a coupon code I think I had a coupon code is what it was and I wanted to use it and I think it was like 30% off or something like that so I got this Nubian by Juvia's mini palette for free Ooh. those colors those are really pretty so can't wait to try those out I like Juvia's Place palettes for some reason so now you know um, I think this is my third palette from them this is a free one of course the last one that I showed you was the eyeshadow look that I did with um, Naturally Corporate. We did a collab on the eyeshadow palette. If you haven't seen it, I'll list it here. And then um, well before that, I had purchased a Juvia's Place palette. And that is the palette that I go to regularly when I want like um, some neutral colors, some browns and things like that. I purchased the, um, I believe it's called, the Warrior by Juvia's. I purchased this palette, so it has a lot of browns and neutral colors in it. So, yeah, those are the only three palettes that I have, but I do like her palette, so. And she's black owned, so I want to support a black owned business. So I got that. The next thing I picked up from her were um, a couple of lip liners. I got one in the color Scorpio. I got one in the color Cola, I believe is how you pronounce it. And I needed some new um, lip liners because the ones that I have are old and I got them from, sorry, they're Revlon, but they're in nude. They're in the nude color and um, I think I have one in like a wine. Or something like that that's just okay it's not my favorite and then I have one by wet and wild that I've had for a while and it's in chestnut so basically nude one brown and um, one wine color and I didn't necessarily care for the wine color so I just wanted to see what else was out here so I just opened up the cola and we're gonna see what it looks like. And it's a very dark chocolate color. Mm. So yeah, and just rubbing that on my hands, it went on really smooth. So hopefully it goes on that smooth on the lips. So I think I'm going to like that one because that one is different than the chestnut and the wet and wild. Here's the wet and wild and I'll swatch it. Sorry guys, can you see that? So this top one is the wet and wild and then that's the cola. So that is definitely a more of a chocolate brown where the chestnut is more of a, I don't know, more of a rusty brown or something like that. So let's open up the Scorpio and it's more of a dark it's this one at the very bottom it's more of a dark berry color 
and that is more of like the wine that I wanted was more of a darker berry color and not so much of a you know light uh, raspberry color or something like that is what the other one looked like so yeah I got those in so we'll see what kind of looks I can um, get with those liners also picked up a gloss lip gloss because you guys know I like my glosses if you looked at my 21 um, questions makeup tag I'll list it here if you haven't but one of my favorite things to buy I think was one of the questions I said glosses so guys they got this closed up real tight here we go This color is, it's called Glass Gloss and it's called, it's electric. That's the color, it's electric. And it is kind of a, actually a, like a gold color with some shimmer in it. Let's put some on. shouldn't have done that look at that that's not bad though so it doesn't show up it doesn't show up yellow clean this off before it stains it here we go anyway it doesn't really show up yellow um it just has a shimmer to it so that's good so i got that doesn't feel real sticky right now so that's a plus and then the next one I got was uh, the Lip Reflect Gloss and it's in Caramel Rose. It's kind of more of a brown, nudish color. So to me, I figured Caramel Rose, it will go with nude shades as well as brown shades and still look okay. So let me swatch it. And it's tinted so you can use it by itself as well. So yeah, I'm excited to give that a try. So that's what I picked up from Juvia's Place from their website. And this next package I got from Ulta. And when I, I got the Juvia stuff first and then when I went over to the Ulta site, I wish I had gone there first because technically um, a couple of these things that I got from Juvia's were less expensive on the Ulta site, but I had already ordered them. So, and I had gotten the 30% off. So it still kind of uh, worked out okay where I got them on sale and at the lesser price, but the original price was cheaper on the Ulta site, I'll put it that way. Okay, so what I picked up from Ulta was also an eye palette, a blush, because I needed some blush, blushes and some new lipsticks. So guys, I wear the same lipstick over and over and the same gloss over and over. So I thought that I would branch out. So we're gonna start with the lipsticks. So you saw the two glosses I got from Juvia. So the lipstick that I got to hopefully pair with those glosses. And these lipsticks were not available. They were sold out on the Juvia site. So that's why I didn't get them there. But um, it's called the Velvety Matte Lipstick. And I got the color 2020. That's the color. And here's the packaging. That's really cute. It's the J. And this is from the new collection and this is the color 2020. It doesn't say on here, but I believe that this was considered like a rosy mauve type color. 
So, um, and it's a nude as well. So I figured that this would go with um, a lot of different things. And then I actually picked up the color Kebi, K-E-B-I, Kebi, Kebi, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Same pretty packaging. And it's a little bit darker. As you can see, I figured this would go well on top of either of those. So that's good. The next thing I got was a blush, which you guys know that I needed because I didn't have many blushes. And I had just purchased, which I showed you in another um, video that I had just purchased the e.l.f. palette with blushes. It's four different colors. And I um, actually have one of the colors on today, which isn't bad. Uh, once I got them here, they, they didn't look as cute to me once I got them here as they did on the site. So I just, anyway, it's hard to find, to really shop on the site to find out what colors you need of things. Okay, so this is what the blush packaging looks like. I believe the color, I guess the color is Bella. What color did I get? It says the Afrique Blush Palette. This must go with the eyeshadows that, I didn't know that and I didn't try that, but the eyeshadow palette that I just used, this blush must go well with those colors, but here it is. So it's like a deep coral color Woo. seems very pigmented so I hope that it's see that I hope it looks good on my cheeks and it's not too much but we will see so yeah I picked that up I'll try and do a look with these things a little bit later we'll see and last but not least I picked up this palette and who knew it was this big? This palette was on sale as well. It's the Revolution Makeup Palette. It's the M Emily, the Emily Edit, the Once Revolution uh, Makeup Palette. It's 24 eyeshadows in here. Hopefully with this, I won't need any more eyeshadows because what I tried to do was get a palette that, um, covered the gamut of colors that I would want and would possibly wear. So I have, like I said, I got a lot of neutral palettes already, the neutral shades, and this palette has more, um, it has purples, browns, greens, um, pretty much, see that? has all those different colors on it. So I figured with this and with the neutrals I already have, I should be good. I shouldn't have to buy anything else. So this is what the palette looks like. So again, without blinding you with the mirror or trying not to, I got some neutral colors here. I got some berries and some purples here if I want that. A little bit of light green, some autumn type um, colors in here, and then some darker browns and more autumn type colors. So yeah, we're gonna see what we can do with this. And hopefully the colors, maybe they go on well and blend well and things of that sort. So I will try to do a look with these and let you guys know but yeah those are the few things that i picked up recently in the beauty arena so i'm just going to put them away um, until my next look and we'll try them out and see how we like them so yeah that is it for this unboxing if you guys have tried any of the products that i showed you today any of the brands let me know in the comment section below let me know what you like about them what you don't like about them 
Um, let me know what other colors you may have picked up from one of these brands, things of that sort. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram. And until next time, thanks for watching guys. Bye.